Believe it or not, I am a very funny person. Hello, my unfurry and maybe furry friends. Welcome to the future $1 million YouTube channel. We are actually in the second year of the pandemic and what could be better than starting a YouTube channel and reporting about things you haven't experienced. Also, I always said I would never ever do YouTube stuff and now look where we ended up. But here we are, so let's have some fun. So when you start researching things about YouTube and what's important and what to think about, you're always told, tell the people to subscribe to the channel. So I tell you now, please subscribe. And don't forget to like the video if you want to see more, of course. Also, for every like, Wilma gets a little snack, so you make her very, very happy. I thought I'd start with a time-lapse video for the first video and you can watch me paint a wirehead dachshund while I answer some questions I got. My main goal for the first video is to make sure no one falls asleep during it. So I sped up the time lapse a bit, otherwise it would have been over an hour long and I'm sure everyone would switch off after the first maybe 100 brush strokes. So let's start. For all those who don't know me through Instagram and stumbled across this video by chance, my name is Miriam. You can call me Miri if it's easier, even though the name is generally not that difficult, except to get a Starbucks coffee. So let's start with some questions. How old are you? I am 37 years old. And I'm a bit sorry, but I think I told a few people all the time on Instagram that I'm 38. Since I'm 30, those numbers just don't have any meaning anymore. So I'm always kind of messing up that. So maybe just let's stick to 30 something. Where are you originally from? I am German and I grew up in Bavaria and lived there for the first 20 something years of my life. So I'm a real pretzel and beer girl. Then I moved to Hamburg, enjoyed a five year long city wildlife kind of, and met my not yet then husband. 2016 we moved to Spain, so in September we are here for five years. When did you start painting? Um, I have always been very creative. I had a friend in primary school and we had a book which we, which we took turns filling with messages and drawings. Um, and it's funny because now looking back, I have to say that I think I really liked drawing dogs at that time. So when I was about 12, 13, the drawing became a bit more intense and serious. I started with colored pencil and did a lot with charcoal. When I was around 16, 17, I stopped because adult life hit me like the most of us and I had a shift job and some other interests. In 2016, I started again more seriously. I started with hand lettering and watercolors until I finally got my first iPad in July 2018. 
And from then on, I was caught up with Procreate and creating digital artwork. So this was really a game changer for me. But yes, art has always been a part of my life in some kind of way and it helped me to process or even to cope with some things I experienced in the past. What kind of job did you do before the illustrations work? I was a nurse for almost 15 years until we moved to Spain. I had a really bad burnout back in 2012, but it took me a long, long time to really realize it. It was a very hard period. I couldn't concentrate on anything, couldn't read two pages in a row, couldn't sleep through the night, and much, 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 much more. It took me a really long time to get back to a kind of normal life um, and in retrospect I realized that very much but in the actual moment you really don't realize that at all. Now I'm really glad that I don't have to do this anymore. Um, it probably would even only have broken me more. Let's move on to some happier questions. Do you have kids? No, and none are planned either, unlike more dachshunds. I would love to have a whole pack, but probably my husband would then move out. Are you a cat or a dog person? <laughs> I'm really not sure if this is a serious question, but it looks like I'm more kind of a dog person, I guess. It's not that I don't like cats, but I get on better with dogs. But I have a dirty little secret, because if I would want a cat, I would like to have a Sphinx cat, so a naked cat. But Wilma, I'm sure she wouldn't agree, no matter if the cat was naked or had hair. She hates cats, so I think we won't get a cat. Not, not in the future. Chocolate or fries? Fries. Fries even before guys. What do you do when you are not drawing? I am scripting boring YouTube texts or dancing in the kitchen and cooking some delicious stuff. Probably some people feel this way too, but dinner has been the highlight of the day for us since the pandemic. Uh, maybe that's not quite true. Going shopping once a week has become one of the main highlights too. Is there anything you do more intensively since then than before? morning person or night owl? Unfortunately both, which always brings me into conflict because I like the darkness before sunrise and I enjoy the time when everyone else is still asleep and I can drink my coffee or maybe eight cups of them in peace. However, my creative peak is usually around 10 p.m. at night so I'm never in bed before 1.30 a.m. or something. So this makes it really hard to get up early again. I think you maybe can understand the dilemma here. And I'm really not religious, but praise the Lord 
that's why the siesta was invented. And we love taking siestas. Wilma is an expert in doing this. And in the meantime, siestas at the weekend have become a kind of quality time for us. In general, I also really like to sleep. I do sleep a lot. So creativity, food and sleep, that's my personal holy trinity, even if I'm not religious. What are the future plans for this channel? Are you planning any tutorials? A lot of people have asked for tutorials so far and I really hope I can do some in the future. But I have to work out a bit of a concept and get used to all the technique stuff a bit more and my audio isn't yet perfect. And I also have to get used to everything else around it. So please be a bit patient. Um, even also, I'm not really sure if I would be a good teacher, to be honest. But maybe we need to try that and we will see. Otherwise, the plans for the future are to bring you a bit more into our every, everyday life. We've been planning a big move for a while now, over almost a year which was unfortunately postponed by Corona, of course. But I think that could be very interesting um, for many of you and also for us to, to record a bit of um, all the stress we probably get and packing boxes and boxes and then unpack them again, maybe. Maybe that's interesting. There's a lot of funny stuff on YouTube, so let's, let's try. But please don't hesitate and feel free to put a comment down below in case you have something really special, what you would like to see or to know. It would definitely help me a lot to find a bit of path doing these videos. Right at the beginning it's very hard to, to come up with some content because you really don't know what people would love to see. So it would really, really help me out. So this has been the most common question so far and as you can see the duck swim already gets kind of live putting on some shades right now and I need to admit that I started too yellowish I think you can see the beard is really yellow right now and I'm trying to fix this now with a bit darker color. And it's always not that easy because you always try to start very light and then it's easier to draw dark on, onto it except the other way around. So if you would start with a very dark color, it's really not that easy or almost impossible to light it up again. So that's my first big advice if you start or doing drawings uh, regularly. Always start with the lightest and then layer on top of it the darker colors. Because as you can see, looks not that yellowish anymore. I also work with some, um, some masking fluid to cut out fine details as like the nose, the eye or the ear. It just makes it easier for me and I'm not, I'm something, sometimes I'm a bit clumsy person and I would draw over the white cutouts and then everything is crap and I need to start over again. 
So it, it's really making many things easier, that masking fluid. That's it. I hope you're still all awake. Um, the first video is done. It's a shit ton of work and probably I won't have any time left to do drawings in the future. But thank you for watching so far and I don't have a fixed schedule for the next one but I'm doing my best and do a new video soon. Maybe a bit more about Wilma, but we will see. And it's done. Boop the snoot. So if you like this video, go and hit the subscribe button and give us a like so Wilma gets a treat. And if you haven't yet, go and follow us on Instagram. We are having a lot of fun there. It's done, Wilmy. Let's go.